We're opening the Pokemon Card Classic, the most expensive box that Pokemon has ever released, and the classiest too. This is how the box comes in this type of plasticiness. And then this is how it's presented. It has a little handle and back of the box it shows a Pokeball. They're the actual name of the box itself. So let's take a look on the inside as this thing comes with cards, damage counters, and this. An actual game board that is like very, very silky or a type of velvety. Are you ready to see what's on the inside of this? Ooh. Very, very soft. So it looks like we have three different deck boxes and something in here, which, oh, is also upside down, but there we go. We'll put that right over here. These look like deck boxes to put the actual deck. That's really neat. So you got leaf, you got fire, and water. Let's see how these work. Oh, it's magnetized. And just so you can see on the inside of them as well, it's a type of velvety feeling too. So they close magnetically, nothing crazy, but I do like that more than the traditional type of button that you would use to click it. Hey. Fairly nice quality. Not sure if this is real leather or not, but you have it as such for each of them. Then we have this, which I believe has damage counters and a new way to actually Flip a coin, quote unquote. Let's take these off, just little plasticky things. And these damage counters are actually metal, so they're actually a bit better uh, quality for the different type of damage counters that you're seeing. You have what looks like the poison type of counter, also a type of metal. And then you have the burnt counter also a type of metal, but I like it that it has the little flame look up to it. And then this one right here, the poison one, kind of just has a little blob of poison. And then something that I've actually personally never seen before, you have this. This is a new type of way to flip a coin if it's either heads, which would be this little white mark half circle right here, or tails, the one that doesn't have the white mark. Let's go ahead and try it out as you're actually supposed to start from right here. I realized I never called heads or tails, so we're gonna do that again real quick. I'm gonna guess heads. Let's take a look at the actual game board playmat. Something that has never been in this type of what's supposed to be luxury feel. So I'm gonna open it up this way and lay it out. You are now seeing a full game board that you would use and can use right away with the cards that you'll be seeing shortly. There's three different decks that come in this thing. Of course, you got your active Pokemon spots, you got your prize card spots, and then you got your bench Pokemon spots as well and discard pile. Very, very cool board. Now let's take a look at the cards that come on the inside. Let's take a look at the cards and what else comes with this box. But before we do, I have something for you. That would be two Diamond and Pearl Base Set Booster Packs. Each of these packs is going to one Lucky Heart Squad member. Subscribe to this channel, leave a like on this video, and let me know in the comment section below, out of Charizard, Blastoise, and Venusaur, which one is your favorite and why? And a verified checkmarked profile from yours truly will respond on your comments, letting you know if you get either this one or this one of Diamond and Pearl base set packs. But this big old box comes with two of these that were actually not even put in anything. They were just willy nilly. So we're gonna go ahead. I don't know which one actually has which, but it looks like we can open it up. Oh, it slides it. That's fancy, just like myself. Very fancy. I think it's upside down, actually. So there's no symbols or anything other than this. It has a little white dot mark. So let's see what this actually has to do with more cardboard. Oh, it looks like these are the different types of cards and decks that come with it. 
All right, which one? Should I go for the middle one? What do we think this one is it gonna be? Is it gonna be Charizard? Let's see. The very first deck. We have... It is a Charizard. I'm acting like we like pull it, but I guess technically we did. All right, so I'm gonna try to open this very, very carefully without damaging the actual card, which I don't even, oh, there we go. I got the side. Looks like that's how you're supposed to do it. Let's just compare this card with previous other Charizards. So I'm gonna put the other ones down for now. And let's get straight into looking at this beauty. It kind of reminds you of the legendary collection reverse foils. Now, this specific Charizard card has the traditional Japanese background of the cards, which I do like a lot. Uh, you can look at the condition wise and centering wise. Uh, stats wise, it looks like it is. Uh, going just off of the original base set cards, you'll notice the HP is 120 as opposed to 150 is what I believe the Evolutions Charizard had, as well as the damage doing a bit more than 100. Now, that type of foiling, the fireworks foil goes around the entire card, and it looks like it goes around several of the other ones. So there is the Charizard, which I'll put right over here. Then we have the Charmander. So going on the same theme, Looks like we have multiple Charmander. So that's kind of cool uh, to build out your deck. These are ready to play decks. I'm sure we'll have some surprises such as I believe I saw there are cards as I'll just go like this now. There are cards that were newly printed for this. So you get two Charmanders. There's the Charmeleonaire. And I believe this may be one of the newly printed cards, a Ho-Oh EX. It's the traditional new type of EXs. I guess that's not really traditional is what I'm saying. It does have the silver bordering on it and you can check out the move types, but the rest of the type of sparkly foil leaves little to the imagination. We're back at Charmeleon Air. Then I'm sure some of these are newly printed cards as far as like this Ponyta, but there will be reprints as well. Beautiful Rapidash. Magmar. Really cool to see that every single one of these cards so far, including this beautiful golden Pikachu. <laughs> That's gorgeous. But all of these look like they have the same stats minus these types of print cards uh, from more recent sets or just newly printed. There's a Raichu to go with that Pikachu. Voltorb, the traditional one from base set. I love the neon around it. And that, my goodness, that's gorgeous. The rainbow in the background for Electrode is beautiful. There is a Zapdos. Oh, wow. So going into this, I really didn't know too much about the cards that we'd be getting. You're getting a Clefairy, so, excuse me. You're getting a Clefairy. Usually that's like a hollow that you would pull from it, including a Clefable, which is not from base set. It's just the original uh, jungle set, which would be a rare. We got Dunsparce. Now, I believe this is just a reprint of a card, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Stantler, I believe. Mill Tank. And it's just really cool to see some of these with the silver borders. I think that's super scoop up for all your pet needs. Uh, fishing Rod or Lana Del Rey's Fishing Rod. I just love the, uh, they remind me of like a spec trainers or something with, uh, these types of trainers in this silver. Hey, it's everybody's favorite trainer from base set, Computer Search, which I believe it was also printed for uh, maybe Legendary Collection as well. But this has the gold border on it compared to that traditional, I've been saying the word traditional so much, I apologize. I think this is VS Seeker. There we go, we got a rare candy. Check out rarecandy.com guys if you would like to get your very own Pokemon card classic or very other other type of cool vintage packs or even modern cards as well like Pokemon 151, Paradox Rift, you can get that all. Rarecandy.com. Uh, Pokeball. I'm going a bit slower through these because these are the bulk of what this actual box is. Uh, the original Professor Oak. I wonder if we're gonna get the imposta, but we shall see probably right. Oh, just another Professor Oak. 
Another, lots of Professor Oaks. Oh, I think that's Pokemon Fan Club or Pokey Family. Puke card. We got G, Giovanni. The original Bill. Now, stop what you're doing. This looks like this is the first card that doesn't have the foil around the entire card, but that's because this looks like a card from HeartGold Soul Silver. You'll notice the type of border of the cards has a little like burnt look to it. And that's how they had it in that Heart Gold Soul Silver set. But the actual foil part for Bill is uh, that same type of sparkly fireworks goodiness. And then we have a beautiful Rocket card from EX Team Rocket Returns, or Rocket Gang Strikes Back is the Japanese set of it. And we're getting a few of those. A double colorless energy. It's like, why would this card be gold instead of like the actual normal type of silver? Interesting. But we get a few of those. Fire type would have been cool to have that like red, like the different energy. So I'm assuming we're gonna get a bunch, but these are really cool just because the energy type is just ones that we haven't seen before. So even those are really neat. Going on, got lightning energy to go with that uh, Pikachu and Raichu, but the fire went with Ponyta, Magmar, Rapidash, of course, Charmander and that whole line. And I believe that may be it just for the very first deck. Moving on to the next deck. Let's go with Blastoise. We're going in like, I guess the correct order. So it looks like right here is a little opening. If we can get it, I don't wanna ruin any of the cards, but I'm not gonna be grading any of these cards. I'm probably just gonna keep all of this just all together in a set. Maybe even put them in the sleeves, which I still need to reveal. But let us just take a quick look and ooh and ah at this Blastoise. Again, looks like it's the same from the original base set. Wow. And then the card that I'm really excited about out of almost all of these. It is Squirtle, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Is that a swirl? No, just little stars. It's not like the Cosmos foil, which I love, but still, we got Squirtle, War Turtle, a Suicune EX. So that may be one of the newer cards specifically for the set. More War Turtles, Star You. So very cool Starmie as well. You get one, you get, you get four for the price of one. Get Magikarp, but look at the border. Right away, we're going back to that Heart Gold, Soul Silver type of border and an absolutely gorgeous Gyarados card. Another nice card, Lapras and like a Cavern, and then Articuno from Fossil. So just like we had the Clefable from Jungle, we're getting a beautiful Articuno. It's Drowsy who likes long walks on the beach. It's a little joke, inside joke from the Sun and Moon era where this is where that card and Hypno came from. And then a very, is this like a vending machine type of card from way back when? Creepy Mr. Mime, just in time for Halloween, or I guess if by the time this video is up, it's over. And we get a base set Mewtwo. Very cool, I'm really liking this deck. Reminds me of the Rain Dance deck. Well, just because of Blastoise, but get Rattata, but I love the gold around it to go with that Lieutenant Surge, Jim Heroes card, including this Raticate too. Kangaskhan, Fishing Rod, more uh, trainers as well that look pretty much the same. Another rare candy, switches, Pokeballs, some more professors. No imposters so far. Oh, this is different. It's like the, the fishing guy that gets eaten by Lugia and Shining Gyarados as well. We get more bills. What else will we get? More rockets, double colorless energies and beautiful Beautiful water energies, and my favorite energy of all time, psychic energy. We have one more deck to go with, but there is something else in this box. This, Pokemon Card Classic. Not exactly sure what that says. Probably just some more information that you can get. There is Venusaur. So I will compare, that was nice and easy. I will compare, that's how it should have been. <laughs> uh, all three of the cards, but let's get, let's, let's have Venusaur get its own time. Oh my God, no! For how much these things are worth, look how badly dinged up that is right there. 
Well, I'm glad I'm not grading it, but that's terrible for a high caliber product like this. That was really, you would really hope that they would be in better condition. But just so you can see all three on the screen at the same time, there they go. There's all three of them right there. L I'm pretty disappointed at that, but let's check out what else we got. We got the Bulbasaur, Ivysaur, and wow. So we have a Lugia EX, Ivysaur, Petis, Petisect, beautiful Scyther from Jungle, or base set two, or legendary collection, I think it's also in. Sandy and Sand Slash. We got the Onyx, that's definitely a reprint. Seen that before, as well as Hitmonlee. You can see Hitmonchan in the background over there. And then there he is right there. So that's pretty neat to show them both together. Uh, we got Do Duo. Cool Dodrio, I do love the artwork. We got eggs, we got scrambled eggs, the Chansey. So we had the Clefairy in the other deck and a Mewtwo as well. Some of these trainers, rarecandy.com. Uh, Switch looks like, Pokeball, uh, Life Do maybe. More professors, which we have seen before, we're about to get into. Wow, well I was not expecting that. We have the, these were for the e-reader sets, not all of them. Some of these were for like Ruby and Sapphire as well, which this card may actually be from, I'm not exactly sure, but. Very cool to see that type of card just randomly thrown in there. And then we shall see what else we have, if anything different, or just some double colorlesses, leaf energies, and some fighting types energies. We do have one more, which I need to actually clear it off over here. I, I don't know exactly what's gonna be on the inside of this other than maybe sleeves. But let us check if it is true or not. So it does look like there are sleeves. Are they any different? Oh, they are. So each of them are for the respective cards. So you have nice, if you're painting your house, this would be perfect for a nice shade of gray leading up to black. And then I do have to check this. I do want to see just if this is the old quality or the new quality. And look at that. I love this. It's not like that, it's a better, it's like how they used to be sleeves, at least the front of them, I believe. And then we'll put Charizard in here. And so you can clearly see the cards on the inside.